Let me be clear. Fashion school sounds like this super glamorous storybook experience, but what you learn there is not practical for the real world. You learn how to drape. You learn how to sew garments. You frolic in fabric. You learn how to hand sketch. And all of these are like super fantasy life things. I am so Heidi, founder of SuccessfulFashionDesigner.com. And my number one goal is teaching designers like you the real world skills that you actually need for a career in fashion. And in this video, we're gonna go through two of the biggest skills you need, fashion flats and tech packs. If you browse stylecareers.com, indeed.com, monster.com, LinkedIn, I don't care, wherever you're looking for a job, browse through those jobs to work in the fashion industry, you're gonna see two things, the two things I mentioned tech packs and illustrator. And I know you guys aren't learning this in fashion school because I get messages like this up the wazoo. The number one goal of this video is not to rant about fashion schools. The number one goal of this video is to show you the skills that you need to break into the industry, to get your next opportunity in the industry, whatever it may be. But I have to address this fashion school stuff because it comes up over and over and over. And if I didn't, I would be doing you a disservice, which is, like I'm not even doing my job, so that's not really fair. All right, we're gonna go through two things. Fashion flats, tech packs. I'm gonna say that a lot in this video. Get used to it. We're gonna talk about what they are and why they're important in the workplace. I'm also gonna point you to some awesome resources where you can learn absolutely free. All right, let's start with flats. Not super sexy. I know that you know these beautiful fashion illustrations that you do by hand are so glamorous and they look really good, but the reality is when you're working in fashion, you don't have time to do these nor do they really serve that great of a purpose. They convey this fantasy lifestyle of what the garment portrays, and they can be great for you know selling and catalogs and promotional material. But when you're in the job day to day, you need garment representations that are much more technical and much more accurate. And this is what fashion flats are. They're basically drawn as though the garment were laying flat on a table like this. You'll often create alternate angles, insider back views, and you always wanna make sure they have accurate construction details like zippers and stitching and trims because they're used as a communication tool. You'll communicate with factories to tell them how to make the garment. They're also used in the office for design presentations, sales meetings, sometimes even in catalogs for buyers. You don't see them in retail catalogs, but wholesale catalogs, you'll see these fashion flats a lot. I've been doing this for over 10 years. I've been working as a designer and I've been educating designers. And I used to think that it was like the schools just hadn't caught up yet. The schools hadn't jumped on the technology train and hadn't gotten the teachers up to speed to teach Illustrator. That was 10 years ago. It's now 2018. Technology is a big part of our lives if you haven't realized it yet. And the schools are not teaching these skills still. So I initiated conversations with teachers from FIT, with teachers from Parsons, with teachers from CSU. These are some of the top fashion schools in the country and the world. And they told me things like this. What the what? Okay, no more fashion school rant. But listen, you have to know this because when you go for an interview, when you go for a job, you are going to be put on the spot with a flats test. And if you don't know how to do it, if you panic, if you take too long, I don't mean to induce panic right now, but you're not gonna get the job. I've heard this story from too many people and they need you to be efficient, they need you to be fast and they are gonna test you to make sure you can do this. It doesn't matter how creative you are, it doesn't matter how beautiful your hand sketches are, you've gotta be able to pass a flats test. Beyond this, let's talk about tech packs. What is a tech pack? Essentially, it's a set of instructions that you create to give to the factory to make sure that they make your garment correctly. So you know how you would create, well, you wouldn't create, I wouldn't create, an architect would create a set of blueprints for a house. A fashion designer creates a tech pack, which is a set of blueprints for a garment. So tech packs, most of the time are gonna be done in Excel. There are specific software platforms. There are different ways to do it. Do not do it in Adobe Illustrator. The point is to tell you the six essential parts of the tech pack. At the end of the video, I'm gonna point you to some specific videos that will talk about each of those individual parts in more depth. We don't have enough time to do that in this video, but we're gonna do a big 10,000 foot overview. Part one, the cover page. Kind of sounds like exactly what it is, a cover page. It's got the big overview of the garment, the style number, specific due dates, contact information for you, and it's got a visual of what the garment is, typically done as a fashion flat in color. Part two, your tech sketches. So these should look familiar. These are basically fashion flats with verbal callouts. 
So your fashion flat is drawn very accurately, but then you add these verbal call outs to specify the exact details that make up the garment. You are probably most likely gonna have front views, back views, side views, inside views, detail views, to show all the intricacies of the pieces and parts of the garment, to show what measurements are, to show what trim is used where, to show what type of stitch is used where. Again, these are all created in Illustrator and then brought into Excel. I know, it's not the fantasy, frolicking in fabric, getting to be creative all day type of thing that you think of when you think of working in fashion, but this is the type of stuff that you spend like 80% of your time on. Part three is your bill of materials. We refer to this as a bomb. So if anyone ever says, oh, we need to update the bomb. Where's the bomb? I need the bomb. It's the bill of materials. And it is a list of every physical component that goes into the design, whether it's a button, whether it's a hang tag, whether it's a label, whether it's the fabric, it is listed in the bomb. This also includes all the packaging details like tissue, is the garment folded with a piece of tissue in it and a poly bag on the outside. Again, this is a set of instructions for your factory. They need to know not just how to construct the garment, but also how to pack it up and ship it to you. Because I've seen factories deliver product in black trash bags when the designer did not give them instructions on how to package it. So your bomb also has to include, again, packaging. Does it go on a hanger? Any physical piece or part of the garment in the form that you want it delivered to you or to your customer has to go in the bomb. Part four is the graded spec. Now the graded spec is typically most of the time, a lot of the time created by a trained technical designer or pattern drafter. It can be looked at as a very specialty skill. A lot of designers don't necessarily do this. Some designers do, but the graded spec is essentially all the measurements for all the different parts of the garment in every size and it's to make sure that the garment is made right and that it fits right from size extra, extra, extra small through 5X or whatever your size range is. Part five, colorways. You've got to tell the factory if there's multiple colorways of your garment, even if there are not multiple colorways and you're only doing one, you have to show them what color goes where. Is there contrast trim on the inside placket or zipper? Is there contrast color in the pocket bag? Is this panel one color and another panel another? So your colorways tab shows the factory what color goes where. Part six, comments. We didn't talk about this earlier, but in addition to being a blueprint, your tech pack is used as a document to track the entire product development process from when you first initiate the request for a prototype or a sample all the way through bulk production. So you have to have a place to track comments for your designs and the development process. If you give feedback to the factory that they need to make this adjustment, you're gonna track that all in the comment section within your tech pack. Again, it's sort of like the master Bible, the master document that you use throughout the development process to make sure your garments get made right. All right, tech packs, pretty freaking important to make sure your garments get made right. You're not learning this in fashion school. Most programs you leave not knowing what a tech pack is or how to put one together. I don't know, I don't get it. The point is, that's a lot of the reasons that I've made this content is because there's not good resources out there. So if you wanna get started today, sketching fashion flats, learning Illustrator, this is the playlist you should check out. Tons of free videos step-by-step step to teach you all the essentials that you need. If you wanna check out tech packs, you can check out the playlist. Again, tons of step-by-step -step tutorials as well as my free template. Click the link right now. You can grab the free template, download it, and get started right now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, click the subscribe button. Always appreciated. And if you want exclusive tutorials, templates, and tips that I only share with subscribers, head on over to SuccessfulFashionDesigner.com and get your name on the email list. I would also love to hear from you. Of these two skills, tech packs or fashion flats, what are you gonna focus on learning first? Let me know right now by leaving a comment. Oh my God, my bangs are so long. None of this fluffy, fabric frolicking, feel good fantasy stuff. That's a lot of Fs. <sighs> Cause a lot of school, bleh.